It's October 22nd already. Good grief. Good morning. We're gonna vitamin up right now. Vitamins, gosh, make a world of a difference. I leave my zip fizzes in my backpack. Dang. I was looking forward to those zip fizzes. All right, so those that are new with us, we got the krill oil. Okay. To be honest, well, that, let me backtrack. That statement is, is weak sauce. To be honest, it's like, what do you expect? Of course, honesty, right? To be transparent, I don't know why I take this. I just have a feeling it's really great for blood flow. It just only has positive benefits, right? It's one of those things that it's not going to hurt you if you take it. It's only going to benefit you. And it's only one. It's really small. So why not, right? It's there for a reason. Go for it. Um, these multivitamins, I got them on Amazon. They're flipping awesome. Vitamin D3 because, uh, as you all know, you probably heard a time or two that us humans lack vitamin D. Unless we get a ton of sun or whatever. At least I've heard that a couple times throughout my life. And then we got joint support because this shoulder, whenever I lift heavy, gets so jacked up. Sad to say. Because I love lifting heavy. I'm telling you what, it's my thing. It's what I do. And uh, maybe it's the bench press. Maybe I'm going to stop. Jay Cutler never hit a bench. Never hit a bar, rather. He would only do dumbbells. He never had a shoulder problem. Never had a joint issue. Well, I never, and I can't say never. It's, it was less prominent in his life. We'll say that. That's probably what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna have to do moving forward. Um, and that's okay. Because I really don't care if I'm bench pressing 500 pounds. It doesn't mean anything to me. Um, I'd rather have good joints and I'd rather have a good physique than to be able to say I can bench press 500 pounds. Yeah, it's not, not important. Even 400 pounds, even 300 pounds, it doesn't matter. I'd rather have good physique, good joints, and um, be able to still lift, right? I mean, you gotta have longevity. One thing you'll hear Mike O'Hearn talk about, check him out on YouTube, that guy's a, that guy's a all-star in the, in the, um, the fitness, the physique space, I don't know, he's been lifting since he was like 16 years old. His genetics are, he's got the, he's got the best, some of the best genetics on the planet. Um, he does use performance enhancing drugs to uh, elevate that. Um, but that's, it just doesn't stop there, right? Like you got to do that so calculated and, and uh, for lack of a better, you, have, you got to do it intelligently, okay? Because if you don't, it could jack you up. So Mike, Mike took, good care of himself throughout the years. He made sure that um, he did things appropriately and he's really focused on longevity because he's like in his 50s now. He's in his 50s. He looks just as good as he did in his 20s, okay? Sure, you know, you get like, like a little aging in the face or whatever, but beyond that, the dude, it's amazing. It's amazing, you gotta check him out, okay? And the stuff that he talks about, it's a little, it's a little stale. The way he delivers the content, whatever. The content's there. Sift through. I recommend sifting through um, the fluff because there's a little bit of it, like any channel. And, and try to listen to his expertise. Listen to his expertise because he will educate you on what it takes to um, go for the long haul. I'm gonna stop and ask y'all a question. What are you grateful for today? The reason I ask is because a, it goes along the old adage of what, what made Peter Pan fly. Some people guess wrong. Most people guess wrong. Some people guess correct. The answer is to what made Peter Pan fly is his happy thoughts. Let's stop and take a second today, right now, to ask yourself, what are you grateful for? What's out there that makes you happy? What's inside of you that makes you happy? Who loves you, right? There's a lot of good in the world. We have to recognize it. Sometimes it takes practice. Cool. Brett's gonna pick me up. I'm gonna go back to the office, brainstorm mastermind for a couple hours, do a half day today, 
And then I'm gonna get a rental car. Watch out, California. And I'm gonna go to Walnut Creek, California for a little coffee in the afternoon. It's a great coffee spot. And after that, I'm going to Sacramento. The SAC. What an adventure. Let's do it. Hey everybody, I'd like to take today to formally introduce you to my good friend and business partner, Brett Fouché. Brett, what's going on? Good morning. What, what areas do you cover in California? Um, so we're out in Northern California, uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, we kind of cover, you know, about a 30 mile radius roughly. So San Francisco, all the way down the peninsula, South Bay, East Bay Area. Um, in some outlying areas as well. Uh, but we've got tons of you know past sales all throughout those areas, and yeah, that's our focus. And soon, we'll be in the Phoenix Metro. Just got my, uh, passed my broker test, and so we'll be launching hopefully by the end of the year out there. Expansion team. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's exciting. And for all you Austinites or Austin locals, uh, I know that the point of contention is that our housing prices are, are super high. But what would you say a uh, 2,000 square foot house costs over here? Uh, it's 1.4 to 1.8 easily. So people tell me, oh, we're so, the price is so high out here. I'm like, yeah, well, that's because my California clients are selling their $2 million home and then buying multiple houses <laughs> in your area probably. Yeah, yeah. And, and how far are we, are, are we away from, let's say, downtown uh, San Francisco? Uh, less than 40 miles. I mean, it depends because you have, you know, like Union Square downtown or you have Fisherman's Wharf. So it's all about 40 minutes, about 40 minute drive. All right. So you heard it here first, about 40 minutes away from downtown San Francisco, yep. 1.5, 1.4 million dollars roughly for, yeah. for a 2,000 square foot house. So, um, let's, let's take some time to be grateful for what we've got <laughs> yeah. over in Austin, Texas. And of course, if you need anything out here in the Bay Area, Brett and his team. Our team's got you covered. Got you covered. It's Brett with his favorite restaurant in town is. And he set this vegan spot. We're here, we ordered. And here I got some vegan chicken. Brett's got some delicious spring rolls, some peanut sauce. That looks good, dude. I got that. These are good. I'm not too sure what that is. It just looked good in the picture. This right here, smacks. Is it good, Brett? You had that before? Mm-hmm. Yep. Thumbs up. Yeah. Crispy, crunchy, and delicious. Healthy. And healthy. Vegetables. Most importantly. Mm. Mm. What's the name of this place again? Blossom Vegan. Blossom Vegan. And we're in Pleasanton still, yeah? Yep. Real close to Dublin now. Mm -hmm. Oh my there. gosh. Thank you so much. You're That's your main dish, yeah? Yep. Uh, That's good. Sweet potato curry. Nice choice. Yeah. Curry rocks. Trash adocious. That's what we call that. Yeah. Trash adocious. All that is a vibration, yeah. right? Right. And that vibration is peace. Oh. That's, that's how you think. I, you know, this is the lyrics for the sand. Yeah. All women are boots, you know, the B word. And right. Da, 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 da. And right. They can't even spell. They're trying to uh, rhyme the music. Yeah. The read out of a book, they're stuttering. The prime example of having junk in the trunk. Yeah. You know what that junk is? Those speakers playing that nasty rap music. Right? Yeah. Just blasting the trash. Yeah, and then we have our young children today. They, their mind is still developing, right? They're listening. Yes. They're listening, right? Yeah. And they're and down here, got that trash going. That's what I mean. Yeah, like, dang. Okay, you know, like feeding talk. Oh, my God. You know, play. Right. Little, uh, Brainwashing. Nicki Minaj, oh my gosh, talk about dirt. Nicki Minaj, what about her song? Remember her song? Yeah, you got it, okay, now you get it, yeah. Her song's gross. I'm talking about WAP? Do you even know what WAP stands for? That down here, yeah. That's terrible. Uh, uh, you know, a real man don't care about that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about these because, you know, yes. I'm not gonna be Wrapping up the music. Oh! Speaking really hard, our song. I guess.